Hi, my name is Marcus McCauley with McCauley Family Farms, and I'm standing in front of what we call our multi-species mobile land regeneration units. So there they, there they are, <laughs> the units. The, we've got 44 sheep, a couple of alpaca, a llama. We're going to have a handful of cattle joining us uh, here in, in about a week. And um, we utilize the sustainability grant uh, to give us the infrastructure that we needed um, to be able to move these animals off of our farm and onto neighboring uh, land. Um, they spent the majority of the summer on 30 acres, just about a mile away. And then now here we are north of our farm, the, the land uh, adjoining our farm, 120 acres here. Um, and uh, uh, the, this, this grant really is this, um, this kind of mobile, flexible, reliable infrastructure that allows us to be able to um, ensure the quality of life for these animals. So we got a solar unit, a shade structure, and a water trailer. Um, uh, we don't have the water trailer yet. That's something that we're going to be implementing during the winter. Um, and this is actually kind of a weird time for me to show you this because these animals just got out here uh, today. So I don't have, I'm going to show you the shade structure and the solar uh, trailer here in a minute. Um, still at our farm, we're bringing it over. But um, those, both of those have really made a big difference for us and for the, for these animals um, uh, this year. Uh, we haven't been able to really find an off the shelf kind of solar um, uh, unit that is reliable. Uh, predation's real here in the front range. And um, this year we didn't have any problems. Uh, we were able to uh, utilize this uh, solar trailer that um, was uh, custom made for us by a local solar company. Um, and it has worked amazing. We've been able to keep a good, strong charge on this electric fence to not only keep the sheep in, but also uh, to keep the the coyotes out um, and then also the shade structure you know uh, just I mean just infrastructure in general is is really you, you know there's a lot of variability in different properties whether private property or open space property um, we're gonna be grazing about 150 acres of open space property with this infrastructure here uh, this winter and spring um, and in you can see there's not not many trees here that's pretty common um and uh not much water here either there is a a lake over on the other side of this berm but um you know reliable water and shade's hard to come by um and so uh the shade structure that i'm going to show you has been um incredibly useful um and easy to work with we did have some challenges with it this year learned the hard way um 55 mile an hour wind tipped it over so we're doing some repairs on that um currently um and uh and the water you know the water uh making sure that these these animals have water that's not frozen um and is uh that we can move it around so why do we need to move it around and this is something that I think is really important uh, for folks to know. Um, it's obvious that a grazing animal, as a sheep or a bison or a cow, that they need grass, but not as obvious that the grass needs them. And uh, we're seeing desertification all over the world, um, all over the Front Range, and really especially in Boulder County, um, in lands that don't have the proper grazing pressure. So grass and ruminants co-evolved over millennia um, and so they're out there doing what we what they do best and what we need them to do um, by their presence the grazing activity the um, the the uh, trampling you know we say we want to take half and leave half well ha the half that we're leaving is getting laid down horizontal and getting trampled down into the ground um, there's some areas that are bare out here and um, that's what happens over some time. This ground hasn't been grazed in years. And so we're excited to be able to get these, uh, these sheep out on this land and some other highly de degraded land, land that's the, where the topsoil's uh, blowing away so that we can start to um, build topsoil. These, these, the, these animals are building topsoil in this 
short grass uh, ecosystem, um, this is the soil creation process. Uh, this uh, infrastructure has allowed us to triple uh, the number of families that we're feeding here in Boulder County, and we look to um, tap into this um, growing wait list of folks to be able to do that again next year. I'm going to go show you all the solar trailer and the shade structure.